It's been an interesting week for uh, college football head coaches. Nick Saban, uh, everybody's most hated college football coach, uh, did a press conference this week where he complained about NIL deals and the money that kids are making and how the competitive disadvantage has now shown up in college sports. It's not what it used to be. This is coming from a guy who makes $11 million a year, has boosters that pay his salary at Alabama. You know, he's won six of what, the last 15 national championships? A guy that seems really concerned about competitive disadvantage in college football. Then you have the head coach from Missouri football, a guy who's been sub 500 in almost every season he's been there. He sat down and waxed philosophical about how his brother-in-law makes less money than some guys that are playing Division I college football. And it's a terrible thing, right? That guy's saving lives, helping people. What he uh, failed to mention is that this average college football coach, the man who said these things out loud, makes six million dollars a year. Did he not know we could Google that? Because all of this information is public. What I find interesting about the last couple of weeks with all these college football head coaches coming out and crapping all over NIL deals, it's interesting how now you're concerned about how money is affecting the college game. Because money started affecting the college game when college coaches got multi-million dollar contracts. When college coaches were being pulled to bigger programs off of mid-majors because they wanted them to be successful. Nobody faulted Brian Kelly from going from Cincinnati to Notre Dame to LSU. But Nick Saban's going to fault a kid for making more money at a Florida or a Clemson as opposed to a Toledo? Are you out of your mind? Let's be real here. It ain't about who and what and disadvantage. It's about kids having money in their pocket.